The genesis of this program has come from entrepreneurs. We built a curriculum based on the best practice of entrepreneurs and the kind of core skills that students will need as they go out into the world and build new companies, uh, innovate and create new products and services, and generally make the world a better place. We want to change the, the current educational paradigm. And who better than this generation to tell us what are our schools should be in the future, what are the skills that we need to develop. Uh, so we asked them, and, and I think this was one of the best decisions that we made uh, in a long time. Right, everyone thinks, oh, entrepreneurship and innovation, it's all about the new and exciting idea. Actually, we challenged the students to stay in grounded in the problem so that they could like figure out exactly which problem they wanted to solve. I also think a lot about problem solving because we were learning how to, uh, how to find the problem before you solve it, because you can't solve a problem that doesn't exist. The students have all looked at challenges in educational inequality, in the future skills and knowledge, what are the things that students need in the future to be successful, and what could the school of the future look like? We had great mentors, and students got to know each other, we played lots of games, and, and we're connected with lots of new people, both from here in Portugal as around the world. But what's awesome is then we finally moved on to solutions. Ultimately, everybody pitched. The second week, we really focused in working on teams and focusing on our ideas. We worked on skills like wireframing and building out the, the, the different apps. It was so much joy, so much learning, so much collaboration. I think I learned a lot about like making a team and how you have to work with the team. What my wife and I didn't expect was that she would evolve in two weeks. <laughs> It's nice to see her sort of find her voice and her energy uh, with a group of strangers. So that was mind-blowing as a parent. We were not expecting at all in this age. They were so structured, so innovative. Uh, the pitch book with such an energy. So I believe this has to be with the methodology. I really love this project, actually. I, I, I'm dying to call our marketing director. <laughs> I'd say, let's implement it tomorrow. Some hundreds of pitches probably, yes. right? And, and this speech that you just gave us is as good as the ones, the best ones that I've seen. Thank you.